What's going on everybody? Welcome to Lake Forest Cemetery here in Lake Forest, Illinois. Today we're here to pay our respects to a legendary screenwriter, director, John Hughes. Now if you're not sure who John Hughes was, he was a legendary filmmaker responsible for some of the biggest movies in the 1980s and 1990s. And you would know pretty much all these movies. I mean everything from Uncle Buck, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, um, he did Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and he wasn't just a director, he was also a writer, and some of the movies that he wrote but didn't direct include Home Alone, Dutch, Christmas Vacation, National Lampoon's Vacation. I mean, these are all classic, classic films. Now, John Hughes was born in 1950 in Lansing, Michigan, and when he was 13, his family moved to Northbrook, Illinois. Now, he was a Chicago guy. All of his movies were pretty much related to the Midwest or took place around the Chicago suburbs. Um, he started in 1970 um, authoring short stories for National Lampoon's Magazine. And he was just a legendary filmmaker. I mean, everything that he made pretty much turned to gold. And he was one of those kind of guys that kind of shied away from the Hollywood scene. He rarely gave interviews. He didn't... He wasn't seen out in public very much, but he was just an absolutely brilliant filmmaker. He could write a script, a rough draft within a weekend, and it would become just a legendary masterpiece of film. But this is to the grave of John Hughes. Now on August 6th of 2009, John Hughes was in New York City visiting his son, and I believe his grandkids, and he went for a walk outside of his hotel in Manhattan, and he suffered a fatal heart attack right on the side of the city street. But he was brought back here and laid to rest at Lake Forest Cemetery. Now at the very beginning of the, of the video, I showed you guys a house clip really quick. There's no place to really stop, but that was the final home where John Hughes lived with his wife Nancy. Now this is a really beautiful plot and it's right when you first come inside the cemetery you take a left and it's on the right hand side. There is also this bench right here, there's a deer behind it, you can't miss it. Now I also just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to Melu and Paula, the two of the newest channel members. Now I have released a new channel membership, a link's in the description if you do wish to contribute to this channel. I know a few people have asked so that's now an option. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it, and have a great day.